Thursday, we're taking a look at a health issue or concern affecting many people, breaking down the information for you and telling you what you need to know to keep you healthy. Dr. Kalani Brady from the John A. Burns School of Medicine joins us now with this week's topic, very popular weight loss diets. Good morning. Welcome back again. Good morning. It's nice to be here. Nice to have you back. So first of all, what are the dangers of being overweight or obese? Overweight and obesity lead to an increase in heart attacks, other heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, sleep apnea, uh, and uh, a host of other problems including liver disease and strokes. So uh, it's, it's really serious to treat obesity and obesity is in an epidemic in the United States unfortunately and in Hawaii as well. And so today we're focusing on diets to fight obesity. There are so many diets out there. So a lot of people are wondering which ones work. Well, uh, to start, weight loss diet uh, includes how much weight you're going to lose. So 5 to 7% makes a big difference mm -hmm. in all those risk factors caused by obesity. 5 to 7% means 10 to 15 pounds in patients that are 200 pounds in weight. Okay. And and the diets themselves. <laughs> so, this is the meat of the of the uh, story, of course. No pun intended. No pun no intended. No pun. Okay. <laughs> um, the uh, Mediterranean style diet is an excellent diet. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we have the Atkins diet, which is a low carbohydrate diet and the Ornish diet, which is a low-fat diet. They're all good and they're all effective. In addition to that, we have the diets that manage you, like Jenny Craig and uh, Optifast and um, Weight Watchers. All of those diets are effective and they can lead to long-term weight loss, which is obviously your goal. There is research, uh, uh, there is no research evidence that either genetics of a person or their blood type, uh, as is commonly uh, stated, uh, have anything to do with the effectiveness of the diet. So don't go out because you have a genetic analysis and go on a special diet. You're probably uh, giving somebody money that they don't need or that they think they need, but you don't need to give away. Because there is a diet out there that is designed specifically for certain blood types, I heard, right? right? Okay, so you're saying diets like Mediterranean, Atkins, they do work and they can be healthy for you, right? Yes. So, I mean, some people think they're fad diets, but I think that the word is diet. It has to be a lifestyle change. You can't just go on it for a couple of weeks and then go back to binge eating and eating bad foods. Right. A diet basically is not something uh, like the fad diet where you're on it for a certain amount of time and then you can go off because congratulations, <laughs> you've lost the weight. Aww. A fad diet uh, differs from a regular diet in that regular diets are basically for life. Mm -hmm. So you want to choose a diet that you're going to be happy with for long term. One of our employees here at KHON has lost 80 pounds and three years ago lost the weight but has kept it off all this time for the next three years. And I'm sure it's due to changes in behavior in lifestyle. So can you remind us what kind of behavior we need to change? Absolutely. Um, behavioral uh, strategies include controlling cues and stimuli that trigger eating. Basically, that's a tough one in Hawaii because so much of our culture revolves around food. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, be thought of as uh, improper or stuck up uh, if you don't eat when everybody else is eating. So you actually have a social uh, pressure to eat more, uh, which is not healthy. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, you should uh, regularly use and, of course, purchase a scale to give yourself a touchstone for how much you're losing. A goal should be one pound a week uh, for weight loss and uh, self-monitoring with uh, actually writing down what you're eating, a diet recall, mm. and the amount of exercise you're doing is very important. A food journal. A food journal and an exercise journal. Because when you see it in black and white, you don't realize, wow, I had all that for breakfast, right? right? 
You can see it in black and white. It doesn't lie. And that's right. It reminds right. you of how much you actually ate. Right. Slowing down in eating is also important. When we eat too rapidly, mm -hmm. we don't feel that we're full when we really are full because we ate so rapidly. The signal from the stomach doesn't get to the brain in time. So that's important. Behavioral contracting with your doctor. So making out an actual contract for losing weight on the diet may help as well. Nutrition education and meal planning, as we talked about, Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers do that for you. And increased physical activity is really important. If you stick to that 150 minute a week exercise plan, uh, that will help with the diet. Without that exercise plan, you won't be nearly as effective losing weight on a weight loss diet. The exercise is really important. And then of course, en enrolling the social support of your family is really important as well. Yes, because speaking of family, I have a mother who would just not take no for an answer. She wants you to try everything and literally will take a spoonful of food and say, no, you really have to try it. Exactly. <laughs> right? And that's our culture. It that's is our how culture. We show love and affection through food, right? That's right. right. And next week you'll be back? Next week we're going to talk about the new vaccine for shingles. Shingles, okay. It's another common thing you hear a lot of people are oh, having, right? And it's a horrible disease to have. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Brady, again for your tips, and you have a good weekend. You too. We'll see you next week. Yep. All right. We'll break down the stories you need to know about today. That's coming your way next on Take Two.